Jump. We got uh, Dr. Beljan coming in here on the black bracket, going to be competing on October 22nd. Let's move over here now to the blue bracket. And when we move over to the blue bracket, we can see that our first matchup here is between Cam Smith and Five Lacks. So let's learn a little bit about our competitors today. Uh, first of all, we've got Cam Smith. He only uses SolidWorks one hour per week during Model Monday Live on Monday night, and he served 11 years in the Navy, but now works for the Army. Okay, cool, awesome. And going up against him, we've got Five Lacks, and Five Lacks has bought 18 3D printers. 18. Wow. And Five Lacks, his breakdancing power move in high school was head spins. So we'll see how those uh, different skill sets stack up against each other. If you guys want to let me know in the chat who you're rooting for or who you think is going to win, feel free to put that in the chat. All right, let's get our competitors ready. We're going to flip over to full screen here, and we're going to show the print. And as soon as I show the print, you guys are going to do the screen capture, and you're going to begin modeling. So here we go in three, two, one, go. So here's your print. Grab the screen capture, begin modeling. What is the mass of this part in X dot X, X pounds? Dove tail stop. This is an IPS, plain carbon steel, and 7,800 kilograms per cubic meter. And boom, these guys are already going for it here. I love it. Uh, we can see here while they're, while they're getting their models ready, we can see what this thing will look like. Where do we start with something like this? Do we start on the top? Do we start on the front? Do we start on one of the sides? You know, what types of things are we going to be considering as we're going through and creating this model? What's our plan, right? I know that uh, I've seen people do this competition and they, they spend just a few extra couple of moments coming up with a plan and it, it makes such a difference in their overall time. They're able just to blast through this thing. Look at Five Lacks on the right going with the symmetric technique coming in from one end. Look at look at Cam Smith on the, on the left coming in with the uh, uh, technique coming in from the front view and uh, two different CAD experts. Right, creating the same model and coming at it from a very, very different approach. How cool is that? We see Cam is using a little bit more of a dark mode theme. We see Five Lacks is using more of the traditional theme. Madi visiting us from France. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. And we can see here that our uh, competitors are just blasting through this model you know just just shredding it i mean look at the use of dimensions from cam here again taking advantage of symmetry making sure that his sketches are fully defined every time always important we always want those sketches to be black we can see here that uh our competitor on the right five lakhs going through doing the the symmetry option making sure again all of our sketches are black let's make sure we fully define every time very important Kind of going with the layout approach. I like that. Using the layout approach, kind of get like multiple features together in one sketch. Let's see how he's able to reuse that sketch now. So he just clicked on that same sketch again and then clicked in the extrude command and he's able to take the two different sections of the same sketch and utilize those two different sections in, uh, you know, in the same model downstream. So I think it's such a cool way to utilize the layout functionality from sketch mode. And we can see here that uh, Five Lax is already, you know, at the point of that rib and looks like Cam is at that same point doing that angled rib on the left. Ooh, I like that. Using the uh, magical dimension arrow there when you're creating that angled line. Very nice, Cam. Probably not necessary, but I still like it, you know. I'm sure you probably just did that to make me smile and it worked. I definitely did smile. And we can see five lakhs here coming in with the, uh, what ultimately is pretty close to the final feature. I mean, these guys are neck and neck on this thing. Question came in from the chat. Is the Ivan exploit permitted? Absolutely. Anti-venom. The Ivan exploit is always permitted and, and sometimes even encouraged. Yeah, absolutely. It's permitted. The thing is. You have to pay attention to what's going on downstream from those cut extrudes if you're going to use the Ivan exploit. Because if that geometry, you know, on the top surface and the bottom surface is, is non-uniform, the Ivan exploit isn't really going to work. You're going to end up, you know, getting the, the mass incorrect. And I think what you'll probably notice from a lot of my designs is that uh, I try to incorporate 
something to thwart the Ivan exploit. So we're looking for the mass of this part in x.xx pounds. Five lakhs comes in with a mass of 2.44 pounds. That is correct. Wow, that was fast. My goodness. These guys are screaming through this thing. Very nicely done. Cam Smith coming in right behind him, 2.467. Uh, the correct answer is 2.44. Wow. GG. Everybody, please, please, please give 5 lakhs a GG in the chat. That was some serious speed modeling. My goodness. And wow. Very nicely done. Holy smokes. I'm, uh, woo. Now you guys can see my face.